Hey guys, Nate from PlayYourCourt.com and today we're talking about better forehands by aiming for the fence. All right guys, we're talking about how to get more topspin and focus on targeting to improve the forehand. Today's video is for Player Court members 70 and below. If you're not familiar with the community, definitely check it out. There are 10,000 players currently competing. You can get a rating and you can get out there and compete as soon as you sign up, all right? So guys, what are we talking about regarding this fix your forehand by aiming for the fence? All right, I'm not asking you to hit the fence, but we've got to change the way that we think about hitting the ball. I've had this dialogue with a collection of students and they were talking about how basically they were arguing that not every ball is lifted on, right? And that's certainly not the case as we move up into the court. Can we hit down? Yeah, as we get close to the net, we certainly can. Can we go through the ball to flatten it out? Of course. But from behind the baseline, we're hitting up to some degree, all right? We're always working with the wrist below, right? The racket below the wrist, right? And that racket working under that ball. Even when the ball is moving fairly linear, it's still getting some lift. So why do the pros miss in the net? This is what one of the students was, was essentially arguing. And a lot of times what's happening is what we'll see is the racket is still working below but then they've climbed up, there's been a mechanical error somewhere else where they're getting on top of the ball. But the rocket did indeed start below the ball and therefore trying to hit that, that big top spin. So today's little drill, it's, it's relatively simple. All right, we're just gonna change the way that we see things and we're gonna start by aiming for the fence, all right, off the ball. We'll take a look at that now. Okay, so what we're gonna show you is this little exercise to get you to focus on height and depth and it's very simple. The ball that I'm hitting, once it hits the ground, by, before it bounces a second time, it has to hit the backstop. It has to hit the back curtain. And I'm not doing this with pace. I'm gonna do it with big height, right? And really work through it. And this is something that we use with a lot of the academy kids as a warm up because we want them swinging free and we want the, the correlation made that you can hit bigger as long as you have more spin. But there's only one way to get spin and that's going low to high by getting under the ball. I'll show you what this drill looks like now. Oh, so I was a little short on that one. So the last one's short, so I'd start aiming deeper again. So as you notice, the first few, they went well out, and we want them to go out, right? We want to overextend the target, a little bit of exaggeration theory. I don't want to be trying to mainline this. All right, but so now as we start to rein it back in, what we're going to focus on is really getting this turn, you know, we talk about turning the doorknob and getting this to come over to get the spin to bite a little bit more. We'll take a look at that now. All right, guys, really simple little exercise, just a way to get you to see things a little bit differently, all right? We wanna exaggerate what our target is, and by aiming for the fence of that second bounce, we do so. We... So I didn't realize there was a circus show going on. <laughs> oh, are you filming? Oh, my bad. <laughs> what a clown, all right? But guys, get out there, put this in to your repertoire, exercise this. It's really important, I'm, I'm, and I'm being honest here, this is how we warm up a lot of times with the academy or heck, even in a private lesson, right? You gotta be able to swing free and we wanna see this lift. We wanna have the ability to aim, all right? Like, and, and by simply just having an objective like the back fence, we don't think so much about the mechanics and like trying to get it, there he is, he's back. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, hit like. If you love it, you never wanna miss a video hit subscribe, all right, and be sure to check out our tennis community where, where you're gonna have to put up with Scott all the time. You're not signing up, it's all good. We'll see you next time.